here we go. We're recording. So before we start, we've got about six minutes. So I'm going to start the actual masterclass in about six minutes. And up until then, I'm going to share with you just some chats, just some realizations, just some things that I have realized over the course of eight years in working on my business. And in just the last probably year and a half, my business has really started to take off. Um, and very simple reasons why my business has taken off, it's because I stopped looking for the secret sauce. I stopped looking for the, the perfect formula, the steps. I used to say, oh, if you could just tell me the exact steps, like I will do the things. Um, and I realized, let me fix this. Let me fix this. That it has nothing at all to do with those steps. You know, with, with the steps that worked for somebody else are not the steps that were, would work for me and they're not the steps that are gonna work for you. So as we wait five more minutes, I'm just going to chat with you here for, for the next five minutes. As we're gonna start at the exact top of the hour at 11 o'clock. Um, I'm really excited to share this with you today because Instagram is the place to be if you are um, growing, scaling, starting your business. And the reason why I'm going to go into during the meat of this masterclass, it's very, very simple to gain paying clients and grow your business and be able to share your authentic genius on Instagram. Whereas on Facebook, hello, oh my gosh, it's just like you're casting a line into the ocean, like hoping that somebody is going to bite. Have you been there? If you've been there, just give me a, a raise your hand in the chat. Just type number one in the chat. If that was you, I want to see it in the chat. So we're going to do this masterclass really interactively. I chose not to do a PowerPoint presentation because that's what everybody does. And I don't want to be like everybody else and giving you slides. I want to have a chat with you. So I encourage you to um, interact here in the chat. Um, and I want you to give me like a thumbs up, type a one, tell me where you're from um, over here in the chat. Cause I, I think that it's really important that we all share, that we all um, learn from interaction. Cause that is definitely how I learn best. And I know that before I was really ready to dig in and grow my business, I'd like to just like kind of hide in the background, right? I would just, oh, I'm going to join this masterclass. Hopefully nobody sees me, blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, that's, not, <laughs> that's not what we're going to do here. I really want you to engage, um, ask questions, share your own story, and you could do that all in the chat right here. So we've got about three minutes, and then we're going to get started. If you see me looking over here, I have notes. I have notes over here. I don't have it all memorized, but I definitely did not want to do a PowerPoint for you. I knew that I wanted this to be live and fresh and easy because there's another giant news flash that I learned over the last year and a half was that when my business is easy and fun and fresh that's when I'm lit up and that's when I can help light up my clients. So um, if your business has been feeling heavy, you've been feeling overwhelmed, you're not really sure you know, what to do next because there's a bazillion trillion things, then um, you're totally in the right place because that's what we're going to chat about today as we chat about Instagram is that your business should be fun and fresh and easy and you want to focus on doing more of the things that are fun and fresh and easy and the things that light you up, right? Like if it feels heavy and boring, like PowerPoints are boring, they're just boring. Okay. Um, they're, <laughs> they're just boring. If it feels like that for you, then it feels like that for your clients. Nobody's going to want to do business with you when you're boring. So um, one big takeaway before we even get started is just be you. Um, and you're not vanilla. You're a, a whole variety of different flavors, different amazingness. So that's one thing that I definitely enjoy doing is seeing my clients shine and helping them trust themselves 
trust their own instincts and move forward in your heart centered business. And that's something that I've been, I really embrace and I'm really have been leading with talking about is creating a heart centered soul aligned business. And you're like, Hmm, I think that's me. What exactly is that? Well, it's when, you know, you lay awake at night and you're like, ah, I have to create this. I feel like I I know this would reach people. I know I can really help people. If that's you, I want to see and put put number two in the comments saying, yeah, yeah, that's me. Peace out. That's me. I totally feel like I have so much to give. Um, And maybe you're not really sure how to bring your genius out, but you really feel attached um, and and like you are moving forward from your heart. Uh, And that's not everyone in business. I'll tell you, I'll be the first to tell you, that is not everyone in business. So that's why us heart-centered entrepreneurs, those who lead with your heart, those who have soul-aligned businesses, knowing that you are called to do bigger work, know that you, that you are put on this earth. Um, and when I say universe, um, I you insert whatever is meaningful to you. Universe, God, energy, source, whatever is meaningful to you. We accept everyone here. And you know, it's just all about what speaks to you and the reason why you are doing the work that you do. One thing I always ask myself um, when I'm feeling stuck or when I'm feeling a struggle is I'll say, who can I help? How can I serve? And with that, it's exactly 11 o'clock. So let's dig in. And I love um, that I just said that, that like, who can I help? How can I serve? What can I do? to help someone. And that, my friends, is being a heart-centered, soul-aligned entrepreneur. So if that resonates with you, you are totally in the right place today. So let's get started with my free masterclass, Profit Where You're Planted. I'm Annie Pagaro, and I'm super excited to share with you today some things that I've learned in growing my business effortlessly on Instagram. So this, you're in the total right place if you are feeling overwhelmed about how to grow your business. You feel like you have to be in all the places. You have been watching business experts on social media, and it looks like you need to do all the things and be in all the places, and you're not sure exactly what to do or how to do it, but you have a pull and a tug at your heart that you need to do something to help people. You frequently lie awake at night and say, I know that I have a lot to give. I'm just not sure how to do it. I'm not sure how to break it down into actionable chunks so I can actually make money, right? Making money is not bad. Um, And that's something that that we dig into later is, um, you know, you have a product and a service for sale and earning an income from that is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And sometimes we have stories around money for ourselves that keep us in a place of being stuck. So that's something that I like to dig into with my clients is that mentality that we have about money. You're probably giving away your services for free right now. You're probably giving away your genius, giving away your services. um, And I'm going to help you here figure out ways to very simply sell those things on Instagram because what you have inside is valuable and beautiful and you should be earning from it. Okay. So this is not for you. It's not for you. If you have too many limits. You always are saying, I can't. You're always making an excuse. You're always saying, well, I can't do this because you're using people as excuses in your life. You're using time zones as excuses. You're using your own limited tech knowledge as excuses. If you've got all the excuses, this is not for you. And I can't help you. I just can't. I mean, I know my capabilities and I cannot help people that have like such a block in your mindset, then I'm going to have to tell you, pump the brakes and go and get yourself some personal development and then come back when you check yourself. So if you, if you never take action, I can't help you. If you are a person that goes to masterclass after masterclass, always getting information, but you don't ever put it into action, you don't ever... Um, 
take that leap of faith. You don't, if you just don't do the work, I can't help you. <laughs> I mean, I cannot do these things for you and I wouldn't want to do these things for you, but I am going to help you equip yourself so you can find it from the inside and do these things yourself. And if you are a person who already knows that you're going to get angry, if at the end of giving you tons and tons of value and free stuff, oh, Hiroko's here, it's okay, you're late, no big deal, I'm happy you're here. Yeah, you guys, please interact in the chat. Tell me where you are, tell me about your business, interact with each other. I definitely encourage that over here in the chat box. Tell me where you are in the world, tell me about your business, tell each other about your business right here in the chat box. So if you're a person who's going to get angry after I, for, 40 minutes share with you value and great stuff. Oh, Michelle's here. Hi, Michelle. Michelle just joined Profit Where You're Planted. Congratulations, Michelle. She joined this morning and so did Chelsea. Huge congratulations to you ladies. So I am going to share with you guys about my signature program, Profit Where You Planted, at the end of sharing Profit with Instagram to you. And if you know that you're going to get angry that I'm gonna share with you a way that we can continue to work together and you could grow your business, then this is not the place for you because I am gonna share how we can keep going, okay? I'm gonna give you tons of free stuff, <laughs> excuse me, and because I, <laughs> I just get like, what, some people get angry. So if you already know you're gonna get angry, not the place for you. I have a reward, a special bonus for you. Um, if you stay till the very end of this whole uh, broadcast, which is not gonna be very long, I've got things to do and so do you, it's not gonna be a super long masterclass, but if you stay till the very end, I'm very excited to share my whole list of my own um, audiobook library and podcasts that I listen to on the regular. That includes my own podcast, The Freedom Core on Apple Podcasts. Shameless plug for my own podcast, The Freedom Core. So um, if you stay till the very end, um, I'm going to say, okay, who's still here? And then you're going to type in the comments, letting me know that you're still here. And I'm going to email you my um, own personal audiobook list that, um, and there's like maybe 30 or more. Uh, and it's been so helpful for me. And I'll even put like a star next to my most favorite ones. So um, I'm going to give you that at the end. Oh, and I, I need to tell you a about, about um, I'll tell you this uh, later, about a bonus when you enroll in Profit Where You Planted. Chelsea got the bonus. Michelle got the bonus. I'm excited to give away this bonus. So um, one thing I want you to um, embrace as we move forward, uh, I'm going to do a little screen share here and show you my phone screen in a couple of minutes and show you exactly what you can do to use Instagram to profit is number one, this is huge, you guys. Are you ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, um, oh gosh, I'm sorry. Aika Tenka. I'm not sure. What's your first name? Tell me, tell me what your first name is that you just, you just put um, a, a clap. I'm excited that you guys are here. Hiroko, she does Color Street nail strips. Oh, Ika, Tarina, nice to see you. Great to see you here. And tell us what you do. Tell us what you do. Um, I want you to get rid of anything, any apprehension, anxiety, stress that you're feeling about not having a giant following on Instagram. I have less than 3,000 followers on Instagram and everybody will say, oh, you, you can't uh, do X, Y, and Z unless you have 10,000 followers. Raise your hand if you've heard that. Tell me in the chat box, have you heard that you have to get yourself, whether you buy the followers, whether you um, spend hours and hours interacting on Instagram with your accounts in your niche, tell me, have you heard that, that you're not going to be able to do anything on Instagram unless you have 10,000 followers? Well, I'm here to tell you that is bull. It is just not true. It's not true at all. I have less than 3,000 followers on Instagram, you guys, and I don't really do anything to try intentionally to grow those followers. I don't have an Instagram bot. I don't pay for my followers. Um, and you can tell when people bought their followers. They'll have like 
I don't know, hundreds of thousands of followers or even like just 20,000 followers. And if you look at the likes and comments, they have no engagement. They might have like 50 likes on there or like seven comments or something like that. That is not an engaged following and it is not about the number of followers. I cannot emphasize that enough. I, I, I am currently working with a giant brand here on Okinawa and I have less than 3,000 followers. I'm able to effortlessly, you guys, sell my signature program without having a ton of followers. It just is just about being authentic, being real and showing up real <laughs> just as you. I mean, and nobody is more of an expert at being you than you, right? I mean, you're you. So I'm just going to help you bring it out and feel comfortable. So if you are a person who's like, I want to share on Instagram, but I don't want to share my whole entire life. I mean, how can I do it? Maybe you get turned off when people are sharing so many details, like they're sharing too much about their kids. They're sharing this, they're sharing that. You guys, I'm also a former federal law enforcement officer. So I understand and appreciate and know the value of keeping your family safe and situational awareness and what to share and what not to share on social media. So um, I definitely will help you um, share from your heart, but not share, not overshare, not share too much. So, oh, I haven't even introduced myself and I'm like 10 minutes in. You guys, if you and I have not met before, thank you. Thank you. If you're catching the replay of this, thank you. I just went right into it. I appreciate you being here so much. I know that there are a bazillion trillion places to be here on uh, on social media, on the interwebs, and I appreciate you spending your time with me today. I'm Annie Pagero, and I help heart-centered businesses effortlessly sell their products and grow your business without a giant following, without spamming your family and friends, just getting soul aligned and sharing from the heart. That's my passion. I was a law enforcement officer before I married my Marine Corps husband. Now we're a military family. And I started my online business back in 2011 as a personal trainer. I trained here in the gyms on Okinawa, Japan, and I was like, I'm going to take this online. So I started writing fitness and nutrition programs for people online. Well, I did that up until about two years ago when I realized that my heart just wasn't in health and fitness, but it was very comfortable for me. I was good at it. People were getting results. But the number one thing that my in real life friends asked me about was how I grew my online business. So I would spend you guys like hours sitting down with people, having people pick my brain. I would get messages from strangers all the time asking me how I was able to grow and scale my online business moving back and forth from Japan as a military family, spending six weeks in Italy, a month in Australia, like how I was able to do that. And I, I was like, you know what? I think I'm actually going to listen to what my audience wants from me. I looked at the insights on my own Instagram and Facebook, and I saw people weren't engaging with my posts about health and fitness. They were engaging with my posts about mindset development, mindset growth, and applying that mindset growth to growing your business. So I said, I took a leap of faith, you guys. I jumped and knew and trusted that the net would appear. And I said, you know what? I don't know if this is something you want, but I am going to create a program to help you grow your business. And that's what I did. And that's where we are right now. That's where I am in my business. And I am lit up. I am on fire. I'm so excited about helping heart-centered entrepreneurs grow their business. And I have been able to successfully do that using Instagram. And what I'm going to share with you today in a few minutes, I'm going to share my screen here. Um, I'm going to share like very simple tips and steps. Hopefully you have um, printed out this uh, profit with Instagram masterclass worksheet that you got in your email. So if you don't have that, please get that now. Just print it out and you can, um, 
complete it as we go. So, um, you know, I, another thing that I did and that I'm going to help you to do today is get very crystal clear on your messaging, crystal clear about what you do to serve your audience, what you do to serve your clients. Um, I, I, I frequently talk about how I was stuck uh, maybe like six years ago and I was like, I have all of these things. I, I just have this great desire to serve, but I don't know how to narrow it down. And I did a post earlier today on social media where I talked about how I was always looking outside of myself for that secret sauce, those steps. I said, if someone would just tell me the steps, tell me what to do, I will do it, right? Well. I invested a big chunk of money, $14,000 in myself, in my own personal development and in a coaching program that had me, didn't give me steps to do. I really looked inside and I realized that nobody is coming to save me. You know, nobody's going to be like my big break, that it was me. And I, I have all of the tools that I need to help people, to help women, to help business owners inside of me. I have it all inside of me. I just struggled bringing it out. And that's why working with a mentor or a coach who is aligned with you and your values and your purpose and, you know, it kind of is on the, in the, taking up the same entrepreneurial space as you, that's who to stick with. So again, I thank you tons for being here with me today. Um, one thing that I also did was I, 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 I was seeking out discomfort. And that's what I'm going to ask you to do as we dig into your Instagram, seeking out that place where it feels a little bit uncomfortable. And you're like, oh, who am I to, to, to say this? Who am I to talk about these things? Well, you're amazing. And that's who you are to talk about these things. Another thing I did was I was able to share vulnerably but still maintain my privacy. I never post about certain things. I never post um, when we're out and about. My, just my husband and I and my kids are at home with a babysitter. Never do I post at that exact time. I never say date night and when we're out at date night. I mean, just some very simple situational awareness type things that um, are, are really good to know. And that maybe some people just don't even realize, but I, I am aware of those things and I love passing those things on. So um, selling became effortlessly for me because I was able to share vulnerably and people related to me and they were able to see themselves in me. So um, just to recap for you, um, so I, I also felt overwhelmed and stuck. I wasn't sure of the next step. I wasn't sure what to do next. I had so many ideas and I thought that was a bad thing. And actually having all the ideas is a really, really, really good thing. It's a really good thing. And it just takes somebody to help you kind of package them up and move forward by taking imperfect action, knowing that you're going to fail fail, but there really is no, no failure. It's always just taking risks, learning from it and moving forward. Um, I, uh, let's see, I, if you are feeling like you've been a slave to social media, I'm going to help you here. And, um, I used to go from course to course looking for steps when I realized all of it was, was inside of me. So just trust that everything you need is on the inside of you. I want, if you've ever heard anything like this before, um, I, I encourage you to stick with, with that. Like instead of I'm going to give you X, Y, and Z steps, knowing that you have everything inside of you. So now let's dig in. Let's dig into profit with Instagram. Um, I'm, and I will say this also as a disclaimer, I am here to help you grow. That is my purpose. That is my mission. I am here to help you grow. And I will always say what I have to say to you with love and with respect. Um, but also I'm going to push you. I'm going to push you outside of your comfort zone because I know that's where 
the real joy is. That's where you're going to light up on fire when you're outside of your comfort zone. So if you're like, oh, she's going to make me do this. Ah, ah. Yes. I mean, stick with me. I'm going to help you get outside of your comfort zone to do the things that I know that are going to help you shine and they're going to help your clients shine too. So um, you will have a breakthrough working with me. Absolutely. You will absolutely have a breakthrough working with me if you're able to step outside of your own comfort zone. So that being said, let's, let me share my screen and go to, um, are you ready? Are you ready? Put a, give me a thumbs up or something in the comments and let me know that you're ready for me to share my screen and share what I did yesterday in my Instagram for you. Let's see, share. Okay, she's ready. Awesome. Okay, sharing my screen. Share. Okay, oops, here we go. So can I still, okay, let's move this over. Still wanna be able to see the chat, there it is. Okay. So this, you guys, was so cool. I just like figured out how to do it yesterday. Whoops, can you get this out of here? Why is that there? Oh gosh, move. Oh well. Okay, so that's there. I don't know how to get that out of there. Um, what we're going to do, wait, I do wanna get that out of there. Let me try to get that out. There, okay, hold on. <laughs> that needed to go. Okay, so yesterday I shared my screen. Um, I did a screen recording of myself on, on Instagram and um, I didn't even know that I could do that. <laughs> uh, so now um, I shared it to my own computer and now we're gonna watch it. And it's seven minutes long. I'm going to pause um, you know, and, and talk my way through this. So. Um, I want you guys to all get out your phones and you can do this as we go. Okay. Hiroko says she can't see others comment. Can you guys see each other? Open up the chat box and you guys should be able to see each other's comments. All right, here we go. Hopefully you've got your phone. Okay. So I've opened up Instagram and this was just the post. Um, that came up. We can't see others comments. Just panelists. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure you guys. Can you see now? Hmm. All panelists and attendees. Well, if you can't forgive me, I'm not sure what happened here. It says to all panelists and or all attendees. Hopefully you guys can see each other's chats, but if not, forgive me. I don't know what happened over there, but I'm going to dig in. Okay. Um, this is my, my, um, own Instagram that I recorded the screen yesterday. So just open up Instagram and open up your bio. So click this down here on the bottom and open up your, your bio right here. Once you open up your bio, I'm going to have you click on uh, edit profile. This is where you can find edit profile. So here we have it. The, if you have your Profit with Instagram, Instagram Masterclass Worksheet, the first thing it says on there is your Instagram bio is important because the number one reason why your Instagram bio is important is because it shows people what you can do for them. Okay, it shows value to the reader. It's going to keep them following you. They're going to want to keep coming back to your account. They're going to want to read your stories. Um, following um, somebody on Instagram, it, you follow them. Think about why you follow someone. You follow someone to get value for yourself. You don't. You don't follow them because of you know the, all of the specific things that they do. You want to take what they do and use that. For, for yourself, you want, you want to be able to find value in what they do. Most of the time, unless they're like some major celebrity, right? I mean, most sometimes people follow Beyonce just because she's Beyonce, 
right? But um, the reason why you're going to follow somebody on Instagram is usually because of the value that they provide. So um, I want you to take a look at the three things that need to be inside of your Instagram bio. And that is number one, what do you do for them? Number two, speak to the transformation. And number three, your link. So let's take some time right now um, and take a look at your Instagram bio. What do you have in there? Do you have that you are some sports fan, that you're a beach lover, that you are a military spouse? All of those things are great. Maybe have one or two of those things, but tell them what you do for them. So for me, I have consulting services for heart centered businesses. And right away, heart-centered businesses is either going to resonate with someone or it's not going to resonate with someone. Um, they, they know that I have a podcast. They know that I host moon events and that I help you get soul aligned to reach more clients and to make more money. So that my friends, is so very important. And I will be the first to tell you that my bio has changed about a bazillion trillion times over time. Now, Hiroko says, I have my name on my bio. I guess I don't need that. Well, it depends on what your username is. So I actually, you guys, just last night changed this. So I just made a change. If you go to my own Instagram, you'll see that my username is my name. And then right here under name, I put profit where you're planted. I put the name of my signature course. So if in your username, you have your name, which I highly recommend keeping it very simple and having your name. And then here under name, which is going to be the, um, the bold that comes up underneath your profile name. Um, there you can have like Hiroko's is like shine, um, shine your light or something. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly, but you would put that here. So if you have just Hiroko read right here and then here shine, shine your bright, nails. I'm sorry, Hiroko, I don't know exactly what it is, but right here you would put that. Um, and then tell them, um, let it, thank you, Hiroko, let it shine nail. So she would put, and this is what I recommend, putting Hiroko read right here under username. And then on the next line, name, then putting let it shine nail. Okay. Or for Michelle Hager, I would put Michelle underscore Hager, or if that's taken Michelle Hager underscore something in the username that is just you, Michelle. So then when I want to tag you, I can easily find you and tag you. I don't have to be searching like, what is it? Oils? What? I, I don't know. And then it's not going to come up. And then I miss the opportunity to tag you and you miss that. Um, being showcased on somebody else's account. And then you can put here, um, maybe a tagline, maybe the name of your business, um, whatever, whatever you want there. Um, and I have been a student of branding for, you know, eight years now. And one of the biggest things that I've learned is the importance of branding yourself. So the, the importance of branding you, not branding the nails, not branding the oils, not branding the fitness program, but branding you because people want to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. Hands down, bottom line. So when you tell them what you can do for them, right, and it's right here in your bio, plain as day, the messaging is clear. It's very simple for people to understand and know exactly what they're going to get from you they're gonna keep coming back, okay? So another thing, I could talk about that, you guys, forever. <laughs> I love talking about that, um, and I love uh, seeing different people's Instagrams and offering feedback right there. So um, another thing, so the three things that need to be in your Instagram bio, what you do for them, the transformation, and for me, it's to get soul aligned to reach more people. 
to get soul aligned, aligned with your innermost desires, aligned with your heart, aligned with your place here in the universe. Um, those are the things that I talk about. So if somebody doesn't like talking about energy and sage and crystals and rocks and the universe and blah, 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 they're going to know right away that I'm not their cup of tea. And that is totally fine. It's totally fine. I don't want to be everyone's cup of tea um, because then I, then I wouldn't be me, right? You wouldn't be you. So um, telling them about the transformation that they're going to have when they work with you. They're going to feel confident. They're going to feel energized. They are going to dig into what's dig into their heart and let their light shine. Um, all of those things. So think think bigger picture, bigger scale, the nail, nails are pretty, but what does that do for somebody? What does that do? Speak to the transformation. When somebody, like I have nothing on my nails right now, I feel kind of plain, I feel kind of, you know, blah. And I know that if I had some pretty watermelon stickies and glitter on my nails, I would feel bright and energized and, um, just put together, you know, like I would feel more put together looking down and seeing my cute nails. So I want you to speak to the transformation that your product service and your genius is going to provide for your reader. Gold right there, you guys, that is gold. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and then the number three thing that needs to be in your Instagram bio is your link. Okay your link. And I'm going to get into that in just a second, right here at your website. And what if you're like, Annie, I don't have a website yet, but I can put my product link so they can go right to my cart. No, please don't do that. Don't send them directly to your cart. I want you to be able to offer something else here, some type of value, something else so they can learn more. We all know that it takes somebody about five or some, sorry, seven points of contact before they actually have a transaction, before they start throwing money at you. They need to have seven points of contact. So you need to have something here um, in, your, in your bio where they can get something more. Maybe you're sending them to a free Facebook group and you put the link here. Maybe you're sending them to your podcast and you put the link here. Your blog, your YouTube channel, your Facebook um, business page where you do all kinds of amazing live videos. Maybe you have a freebie, any of those things. And you guys, we go over all of that um, in my signature course, Profit Where You Planted. But here for, for this training's purposes, the website, I want you to make sure that you have something there. Do not leave it blank. Make sure that you are giving them something additional for free, some, some place where they can go to get more of you. Okay? Sound good? I'm going to go on. So here on your worksheet, it says my Instagram bio is. And here I just want you to put some bulleted points. You don't have to write out the full thing right now, but just write some bullet points um, some things that you are going to consider when you then go and write out your Instagram bio. And remember, what do you do for them the trans and the transformation? Those are the things that need to go in your bio. Um, okay, and I told you, I just told you this, the link in your Instagram bio is important because, why? Why is it, is it important? Because it tells you how they can learn more from you, how they can get more from you, how they can get more value from you. Because um, Instagram's cool, but they want to have an additional touch point with you. Um, tools for creating your Instagram link. Look what I use. I use something called Linktree. So if you go to, if you just go into your Google search bar or Safari or whatever and type in Linktree, if you have more than one link that you want to showcase in your, in your Instagram bio, this is a great place where you can have more than one link. And I'm just going to show you, I think I can show you like this. On my Instagram, I have a link tree set up and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six links. So can you see this? Look at that. Whoops. Oh, come on. I've got six links. So I just click here 
And I've got six links that people can go to um, in, my, in my Instagram bio. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, and if you have two links, you can put two links here. If you want to send them to a Facebook group and maybe you also have a blog, you can send them to two different links and they can go there and choose which link. But I, I really encourage you not to send them directly to a cart, especially if you're in network marketing. Okay. I would like you to send them maybe to a Google form where they can learn more. All right. So you're, they're giving you your, their email address so they can learn more. Um, especially if you're in network marketing and you haven't created your, your own custom landing page, email collection or lead page, I wouldn't send them directly to your cart because it's just salesy. It's just too salesy. And I don't want you to, to do that. I want you to showcase your awesomeness. Okay, so Linktree is something that you can use. Um, here, um, you'll notice down here in business information, because my Instagram is a business account and yours definitely should be too. Please do that and create a business account and link it to your Facebook business page. This is where it's linked to your Facebook business page. You can also click on category, make it a product. I made mine a product or service. You can be public figure, entrepreneur, um, coach, uh, wellness professional. Like there's so many different categories and I'll tell health and wellness websites, websites and blog. There's so many different categories. And again, mine has changed frequently over time, and that's okay. Down here, I chose to just put in my phone number. I, and I have my phone number in here because I just do. I don't care. Oh, here, here, here it is. So you can choose um, from all of these different things, edit business category, and here's the options that they have here for you inside of Instagram. And I change it sometime, and that's no big deal. Um, I also have the contact options. I have my email address. I also have my phone number. Nobody's ever called me, but it's a risk that I, I choose to take. Um, I have my Facebook page clicked. I have multiple pages, you guys, that I am admin of. And oh, here, I, I changed the email, the email that, that people can contact me at. I changed it to successwithannie.biz from Annie Piguero Freedom at gmail.com and it's just having me check my email to confirm. I got that last night, it came up. So, scrolling back up here, this is where I am in my, my link tree. Here you can, you can change the link at any time. So, I wanted to show you down here um, where I did a post here on Instagram and how to use hashtags in your posts. So we're moving on, um, to actual posts. So before we were just talking about links in your bio, now we're going to move on to, um, what to put in your actual post, what to put in the comments. Um, so if you have any questions about the link in your bio, please ask them here in the chat and I'll get to them. Um, towards the end uh, if you have any questions at all. So feel free to go ahead and ask your questions. So look, I have 104 people liked it. It's not a bazillion trillion and that's fine. I always go through and I like all of the comments and I comment on all of the comments too. So here's where we're gonna talk for a minute. I'm gonna pause this here. We're gonna talk for a minute about hashtagging, okay? Um, it's ideal to have 28 hashtags in the very first comments of your post. If you wanna have a couple of hashtags in the actual description, you can, but 28 hashtags in the comment. And I'm gonna, just from looking at that, I can tell it's not, it's not enough. And for what I was doing right then, I was, I was good to go with that. So here's the things that I am trying to target. For this, I'm trying to target people living in Okinawa. So I have Oki Cafe, Oki Lifestyle, Oki Food, Okinawa Resort, Okinawa Japan, my signature course called Profit Where You Planted, my own name, 
I'm trying to target people living on Kadena Air Base. Those are the things that you're going to want to use if you're trying to target a specific location. Um, if you are trying to target um, self-love, self-care, love, integrity. Now, these are big ones. The, the Okinawa ones are much more specific. When you look at these ones, it's going to be like hundreds of thousands of posts that use love. I mean, if you, if you use the love hashtag, it's going to get buried um, within like seconds, like totally within seconds. Um, and that's okay. Like sometimes I'll use like bigger ones and then smaller ones like Oki Cafe. Entrepreneur, bazillion, bazillion people are using entrepreneur like every second of every day. So it's going to get buried, but I want to be on there. Um, and then to narrow it, narrow it down, you're going to use something like mill spouse owned, military family, Kadena Air Base to, to, to niche it down smaller. Oh, Hiroko says, good to know. Good. I'm so very happy. I'm so happy. So yeah, that's how you, you narrow down your target. And definitely you put it in the first comment. Let's carry on. All right, let's see. So then I scrolled up. Um, always liking and commenting every single post. Now here is the con or the uh, the text of the actual post, and I just wrote a quote. And then I like to use something like this little dot or an emoji or something to break up the space. Instead of having text all together in one clump, I just like to break it up. That's simply an aesthetics thing. And I know that as a, as a reader, people appreciate um, having it look pretty because we all know Instagram is all about like making things look pretty. And I definitely do not have a curated you know, site. I like to keep it real. So, and let's move on to another one. This is a sponsored post. Um, the Hilton uh, Hotels and Resorts in Okinawa uh, compensated me to do this post. I've partnered with them for an influencer project. And you guys, I have less than 3,000 followers. So that was a real exciting thing. Um, just goes to show that you don't have to have a lot of followers. So this is a sponsored post. Um, and in the comments, or, or I'm sorry, in the actual text of the post, I wrote um, a little blurb um, to draw in my reader's attention. I tell them that I have partnered with the Hilton, that it's a sponsored post. Um, and I, I told them to go to the link in my bio. They, they can go to the link in my bio to purchase these tickets. So again, I'm trying to, oh look, I'm responding to Oksana right away. Um, I'm responding to days 2000 YYY. If somebody just leaves me emojis, I'll usually just respond back with emojis. A lot of times that's a bot or like an electronic thing. But I always like to comment because that is going to help out my account. So, okay, look at the, I, there's many more hashtags that I used here. And what I do, you guys, is I have a bank of hashtags. I use my notes feature on my iPhone and I just write up all of the hashtags. So then and I, I'll, I'll label it like this one I labeled Hilton hashtags. So every time I post about the Hilton, I'll use these hashtags or something similar to these hashtags. And I'm trying to target people here on Okinawa. And you can tell very clearly from the hashtags that I'm using here that I'm targeting Okinawa. But I always put in my own hashtags, which are my name, Annie Piguero, and Profit Where You're Planted, which is my signature course. So you could do something similar. Yeah, and it's a sponsored post, so I put in sponsored, sponsored post, to give creds to where creds is due. Awesome. I hope this is helpful. I know that I didn't know this for quite some time until <laughs> somebody told me. So um, yeah, putting, the, putting your, all of your hashtags in your very first comment. Let's see, what is next? What did I talk about next? <laughs> um, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, there's Hiroko, there's Michelle, there they are. Okay, so this is a post that um, I took a photo the other day from when we were all out at a business meetup. 
Here's a photo from when we were at the Startup Lab Lagoon. Oh, I had low power on my phone. Ah, the carousel. So see these three dots right here. These three dots is, you know, when you go to do your post on Instagram and it comes up, it's over here in this little corner and it's like layered um, photos. It gives you the option to add more than one photo to your post. I always do that whenever I can because number one, it keeps people on your profile longer because they like they like the swipe. People enjoy swiping. They want to see some different photos, some different looks, different experiences, different ways that they can see themselves in you. So think about it. For your brand, your lifestyle brand, your health and beauty, your fitness, your wellness, your holistic brand, um, when you can add a couple of different photos, maybe um, your, a photo of you interacting with your family, your spouse, your children, and then something about your product, your service, your offering, all in the same, and this is called a carousel. I love using a carousel because it helps people stay on my profile longer. Yeah, so here's those three photos. I talked about our business meetup. Oh, and I forgot to hashtag. So I thought this was interesting. I forgot to use my hashtags here. So what you can see is this one got no interaction. Nobody commented at all. And I'm actually happy that I forgot so you can see the difference. I forgot to, to put a hashtag in here and I got much less engaged engagement. Only 65 people liked this post as opposed to whatever the other one was, 100 or 200 or something, and nobody at all commented on it, not even the people in here, and I'm, I'm sure that I tagged them. So maybe they didn't even see it, you know, um, <laughs> it's okay. Hiroko says, sorry. It's okay. It's totally fine. It's totally, oh, she says she just did. Thanks. It's okay. Um, and another thing that you can do, um, if somebody tags you in their post, you can take a screenshot of that post and use it in your Instagram story and tag them and everybody else that is in the photo that you, that you know their Instagram. That's why Michelle Hager, it would be very easy for Hiroko to find you if your Instagram profile is just Michelle Hager and Hiroko Reed. It will be, be very easy for Michelle or Emily or Oksana, some of the other ladies in this photo to find you if they just know that they have to type in Hiroko. They don't have to type in something catchy. You know, um, Maybe they could see the catchy thing in the first comment. Yay! She's, <laughs> Michelle says fixing all of this now. I'm so happy that you're able to take action right now. That's what I wanted you guys that's what, that's why I didn't want to do like a lengthy PowerPoint and just have it be something that you can do easy. So this post, I really thought that this was going to get a lot more engagement than it did because it's my friend Shahida and I in our swimsuits at the beach. I don't know. <laughs> it definitely wasn't like sexy photo, <laughs> but I thought that it would get more engagement than it did. And that's fine. It got 87 um, likes and comments. Um, oh, I know. She is a wonderful friend. I just, I love her so much. They just left yesterday. So, or two days ago. Whoa, wait a minute. Anyway, so I think it got it, three different comments um, and it was all about uh, military spouse life. So this, you guys, this is an Instagram, an IGTV video. So IGTV. Um, I know Hiroko says miss her. That's where Hiroko and I met actually that night at Shaw's going away. Oh, I love how this is like coming full circle all together. It's really beautiful. Whoops. Wait, come back here. Where are you going? Um, so this is an IGTV video. And when you, that's not a very cute frame. When you do an IGTV video, the video, a clip of the video is going to come up on on your actual feed and then you could use hashtags in the video so cool it is so cool you guys um and i encourage encourage this we're not going to really go into igtv right now but that is definitely something that you can do um it is only going to boost views on your your um 
what am I saying, on to your page or to, to your profile. I want to show you something, and I didn't know this was going to happen. This is like an extra bonus. So you guys, I want to show you this. See where it says um, 125 profile visits in the last seven days. That is a, um, you know, telling me how many people are viewing my, um, my Instagram. I woke up to this. I don't know if you can see that, but 404. I went to sleep with 125 and I woke up with 404. What? What did I do different? I did one thing. I changed the, the, uh, name. See how I changed the name to Profit Where You're Planted? It used to be my name there, Annie Pagaro. And I was like, why do I have to have Annie Pagaro twice? I saw somebody else do it. So I'm like, I'm going to switch that. So this definitely, and so much more tells people what I am doing for them. I'm going to help you profit where you're planted. People are like, oh, I want to learn more about this. And I, that is really, you guys, the only thing that I did different from last night to this morning, and my my site has tripled or quadrupled in, in views, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, here we are in my Instagram story. So this is where Spark Society, um, if you go to at Spark Society underscore, you'll see that I don't know how many Batrillion followers Spark Society has. Um, this is a woman named Gwen Lane. I am in her influ influencers monthly membership, um, and that's how I got the, the um, collaboration with the Hilton. Um, but her post is me. So she tags me in her post. It's, it's a quote from me sharing my own testimonial and case study. Of, of getting an influencer collaboration with a brand when, with having only three, less than 3,000 followers. So what I did is I screenshot, just like I taught you guys, I screenshot the, my screen of having the Spark Society up, and I wrote a little bit about that. It's me. And I'm directing people. So if somebody wants to go to the Spark Society page, they can by clicking this, and they'll see that it's me. Um, and what does that do? It gives traffic to Spark Society. It brings traffic to me. It's just exciting. So here I'm sharing all about the early bird enrollment for my Profit Where You're Planted course, and I'm telling them to go to the link in my bio. So simple. I'm doing a couple frames where I'm talking, and then I'm showing them to go to the link in my bio. And then I'm looking here. I can see who viewed it. I can look and see who who was watching my, my story, which is fun. I like to see who, who's looking at my story. And if it's somebody that is there frequently, I'll send them a message. Hey, thank you so much for viewing my story. It really means a lot. Um, and then to create a bank of things, to create like the highlights, I'll go here and I'll click on um, biz coaching. And I'm adding all of my biz coaching posts to add to biz coaching, add to that highlight. So you can easily create um, these highlights and you don't have to have a fancy photo. Maybe you can later, but that's something that um, I had my graphics person do for me. Oh, there I am. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> so let's see, what do I have coming up next? We're getting to the end here. Um, oh, so I wanted to show you. So you saw in my Instagram story how most of those last few frames was all about my business. It was me talking about my business, providing a link in my bio. Well, this, you guys, is how you showcase your own authenticity, your own lifestyle. I'm sharing here that my husband is a Marine. You could tell by his uniform. I'm sharing my mess of my entryway. I'm sharing my kids in their jammies. My daughter is handing my husband his boot tie um, and they're getting ready. I took this, but there's no filter or anything. I just was like, this is a nice little slice of life. And this is the number one way I've been able to profit on Instagram. The number one way by sharing slice of life mixed in with my offerings. If there's anything that you can take away from this masterclass, it is being able to authentically 
share, vulnerably share. Every time I see this, I'm like, oh, this is our life. I mean, he works so hard for this country and for our family. I mean, and we're here overseas. Like this is definitely a slice of our life. And it happens every morning like this. They sit there and they put his boots on with him and yeah, you know, people, it resonates with people. Um, and I, then I just added a little bit um, of personality to it. I think I said that I'm, I'm grateful for this day, thankful for another beautiful day, um, another day of our life. So just typing a little bit of, of text here and um, adding some color, um, squishing the photo, making it cute, really takes like literally seconds to do. Um, well, I want to pause for a second. One thing that I frequently do is I'll take photos and then I'll post it later into my Instagram story. Um, I'll do a boomerang or a video and then I'll just go to save and I'll post it later to my story so I can add the hashtags, the location and tag people later. So here I'm, I'm tagging military family cause that's who I'm trying to target with this post and with this story. I'm tagging Okinawa because I want to focus on reaching people here in Okinawa right now. Sometimes I'll tag my hometown of Erie, PA. Sometimes I'll just randomly tag like San Francisco or something like that. And here I'm trying to tag my husband who has a blog and just recently started using his Instagram. Um, and I'm not even sure what his handle is. It's called Delta Dad because he's the Delta Dad. There he is. And I tagged him. I'm looking, where should I put this? And I choose to put it right there. <laughs> and um, then from here, I'm just going to put in a cute little gif um, of hearts in the empty space right there. Cute, huh? <laughs> Took me just a couple of seconds to do that. And then I'm going to add this. Um, Hiroko, is this, is this app where you do this story on Instagram? I just do it right in Instagram. I do it all right in Instagram. One thing that I, I will do Hiroko and everyone else is if I'm going to do a story that's like this, where I'm talking, um, and I want to do all of these things. I want to tag, I want to tag location. Maybe I want to tag the girl that does my Facebook ads. Maybe I want to tag you Hiroko and I don't have a lot of time. I'll save it. You'll see the little save button up here. I think it's like right here. I'll save it and I'll save it to my camera roll and then I will upload it to my story later. So I can take the time to do the hashtag, to do the little GIF, to do the tagging location and everything. So that's something that I do a lot is, is do it and then um, post it later. So there, there you have it. There's, the, there's my Instagram story. Um, and I think, yep, that is it, you guys, that's it. And I'll, yeah, I'll show you just, uh, something that's changed. Cause I, I, I really, I didn't know this was going to happen. Obviously like, here's my name, here's my name again. And I changed this to profit where you're planted and tripled or quadrupled my view, my, uh, profile views literally overnight. So I'm going to stop my share and there we are. There you have it, you guys. That was so fun. I really enjoyed sharing that with you. Um, I hope that you got some value from that. Hiroko says, wow, that's cool. She's like cute. She wants to know if I did it on Instagram. I totally did that on Instagram. Um, oh, she says I'm awesome. Thank you. You're awesome. I'm only a reflection of you, girlfriend. I'm only a reflection of you and what you've got going on in your life and your business. I'm just here to help you bring it out. That's all. I'm just here to have you learn from my own experiences. And like I said, um, I liked talking about health and fitness, but the number one thing that my friends were asking me about is how I grow my business, how I'm using Instagram to reach my business uh, or grow my business, reach more people and create a better income for myself and my family. So we can travel when we're here in Asia. So we can, so my husband can retire from the military and not have to get 
Oh, another government job. I mean, that's, that's my purpose. That's my passion. And that's why I'm digging deep and sharing my genius with the world, which is the same exact thing that you can do. Um, so now I want to share with you guys my signature program. Um, first, do you have any questions? What questions do you have? Um, type them here in the comment. And if you can't, see each other. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. Um, but if you have any questions, just type them right here in the comments. Um, I'm going to share now with you my signature program called Profit Where You're Planted. I just opened the early bird doors to it yesterday. People that in, are enrolling within the next 48 hours are getting a 60-minute one-on-one strategy session with me. If you're here local, we could sit down together at a coffee shop somewhere. If you're not here in Okinawa, no big deal. We can hop on a Zoom like this and chat one on one, but you get a 60 minute strategy session. So you could start off our eight weeks together, totally focused on the outcomes that you want to have in the next eight weeks. Yay, coffee day, Michelle says, because Michelle enrolled this morning. Yeah, girl, of course. There's so many amazing coffee places, but it has to be somewhere that where we can see the ocean. Definitely. Like, I realize that I do not work nearly enough close to the ocean. I need to get out there more and like outside of my tatami room office. So this is going to be a group of heart-centered entrepreneurs, people that are focused on sharing their genius with the world in an authentic, genuine way, not being salesy, not spamming your family and friends with your link to your cart, um, but being able to share in an authentic way. And I'm going to teach you what I have learned. Um, most of it has been in the last two years. I've invested a five, a big chunk of money, a five figure amount in my own personal development and growth. Um, and that's what I'm here to share with you in Profit Where You're Planted. So if you are an entrepreneur, and I'm just going to put the link right here. I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to put the link so you can hop in to Profit Where You Planted right now. I'm going to share two links, you guys, two. I, wait, where, where is it? I'm going to share two links. So here is the early bird link. So if you want to just take a screen share shot of this, um, or copy and paste it. See, it's a little bit ghetto, but that's fine because I just really did not want to do a PowerPoint presentation for you. I just didn't. So here's the links, you guys. Here's your links to join. Um, just highlight this. This is, um, you'll have like a two minute video where you can watch um, me talking about the program, Profit Where You're Planted. It's an eight week group coaching program, which you'll have um, access to a Facebook group and access to me and all of the other members inside a Facebook group. I'm going to do Facebook live videos in there weekly. I'm going to have special expert guests. Those are all a surprise right now. And you'll also have an external course where you'll have access to videos, tutorials, screen shares, um, all kinds of really, really amazing um, strategies to help you grow your business. Um, there you have it. So here's the link right here. Oh, and I think I have... Here's my notes. Yes. <laughs> Here's my notes and the deliverables that you're going to have inside the program. So you can just read it right here. In week one, we're going to talk about defining your brand and your mission statement. Um, we're going to talk about identifying your audience. What is their biggest problem? What are the problems that you can solve? And the number one thing that your in real life friends ask you about, we're going to brainstorm your ideas for your offer and talk about your mindset. In week two, we're going to go into live video streaming. We're going to talk more about Instagram and positioning yourself as an expert. And we're of course going to talk about more mindset. In week three, we're going to talk about your email list, freebies, and how to launch a beta group or a beta program. Um, that's what I did with Profit where you planted. I launched it to a small group of ladies and now I'm relaunching it again, bigger and better and more, more beautiful. And um, I made some tweaks, just made it really awesome. So in week number four, we're going to be packaging your offer and sharing your offer with the world. So if you're like, Annie, I'm already sharing my offer. I'm in network marketing. 
We're going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to have you automate some more things. I'm going to have you get everything uh, squared away so you are actually doing less of the legwork and you're able to reach more people. If that sounds awesome to you, which I don't know why it wouldn't, then you're going to want to join Profit Where You're Planted today so you can get that 60-minute strategy call with me. So here it is. I want you to highlight this right here, copy it and paste it into your browser. If that doesn't work, just take a photo of it and put it in your browser. Oh, the cost. So here is a toupee. So the, the cost of profit where you're planted turns out to be about $62 per week. For $62 a week, you guys, the, the ability that you have to earn, your earning potential in going through profit where you're planted is so much higher than $62 per week. And I want you to take a look at what the risk is if you don't do profit where you're planted. You're going to, the eight weeks is going to pass anyway, and you're going to spend your time racking your brain trying things out. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. Maybe you buy a few other courses here and there that you think you're going to get a quick fix. You're going to get the secret sauce. I guarantee you're not going to get it. I want you to save your, your big money and invest in Profit Where, you, where You're Planted. So you can join um, Profit Where You're Planted as an early bird right now. The early bird enrollment is only for the next 48 hours. And then the bonus call with me goes away. So if you want to hop on a call with me or meet me for coffee down the road, if you're here in Okinawa, join today so you can get that early bird bonus, which is a 60 minute strategy session with me. Um, uh, let's see. The, it's, there's a two pay. So you can pay in full. It's $497 paid in full today, or you can break it up into two payments of two 48.50. So one payment of 248.50 would come out today and another in on July 18th. So one month, one month from today. Um, let's see, just looking over here for any questions. So that's the payment breakdown. Um, a small fraction of what you are going to be able to make using the strategies in profit where you're planted. So if you've been a person who has a big vision and you're just not sure how to get there. If you know that you have a beautiful gift and beautiful genius to share with the world, but you have so many ideas, you're not sure how to break it down into actionable chunks. If you know that the way to go is to collaborate with other like-minded entrepreneurs, which it is, this whole business of solopreneurship, oh, I can do it on my own. Um, I don't need a group. I don't need this or that. Um, no, it's, it's a very lonely <laughs> world out there as an entrepreneur if you're trying to do it alone. And I will encourage you this. If you are in network marketing and you're trying to learn everything through your network marketing company, I am also going to say that is a, a giant red flag because the people that I have learned from are multiple seven figure entrepreneurs and they have built their businesses from scratch. Um, and that is not what network marketing companies are teaching you. They are teaching you the way of their network marketing company instead of looking outside of, and looking into the big picture, looking into people's hearts, um, emotions, and having that attachment to outcomes and transformations. And sometimes it's hard to do that within your network marketing company. So that's why looking outside of it and having a coach and mentor and group that is outside of your network marketing niche is it's, it's going to put, set you um, above and beyond a saturated market. So there's a bazillion trillion people who are selling exactly what you do. Even if you're not in network marketing, maybe you're a health and fitness professional, maybe you uh, have a brick and mortar business and there are other people with similar brick and mortar business and you want to set yourself apart to showcase your own uniqueness. This is my specialty. This is what I focus on. I've been able to grow my business using Instagram and using live video and showcasing my heart um, being vulnerable and just sharing my own genius with the world by um, 
just sharing my real life and sharing my services and offerings mixed in. So uh, one more time, I'm just going to share my screen one more time so you can see the links. One more time. So here you go. Here's the early bird full pay of $4.97. And here's the two pay of $248.50 once today and then once again on July 2nd. I'd love to answer any of your questions. I'm gonna be around here in my office for a little bit longer than I'm gonna go out and enjoy my day today. So just take a screenshot of this um, and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. If you wanna send me a message on Facebook or on Instagram or on email, um, <laughs> send it somewhere and I'll get I'll get your message and, and we can chat more about it if you are concerned whether or not it's for you. But I'll tell you, I just gave you 70 minutes of crazy Instagram value. Um, so you I think you probably get my vibe. If you're if you uh, if you like my vibe, you like what I'm what I'm putting down for you, then I would love to continue this relationship and really help you shine so you can help your clients shine with your beautiful genius and amazing products and services. This is your year. This is your time to shine. This is your time to invest in yourself. The eight weeks is going to pass anyway, so why not do it by moving forward and with someone who's going to push you out of your comfort zone, who is going to encourage you to leap because the net will appear, who is going to, and me, that's me, if you, in case you were wondering, who I'm going to encourage you to take imperfect action. Oh, it's it's. <laughs> it's the biggest thing that I did in my business um, over the last two years. I, I leapt and the net appeared. I took imperfect action. I failed forward. I did the things even though I was afraid. And what has come from it was being able to see women shine in their business, being able to see my bank account numbers increase, which has been really beautiful, knowing that my services are helping people. The case studies that I got from the, from the ladies inside of the first Profit Where You're, you're Planted, um, that's it right there. Being able to see how my products have helped people's lives change. And that's what I'm here to do for you. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me today. It means the world. I love sharing this with you. I could go on for another hour, but I'll, I'll, I've already gone 10 minutes over. I've loved doing this and I'm excited to see you inside of Profit Where You're Planted. The, the early bird doors where you get the bonus call with me is only open for 48 hours from right now. And um, the, the, uh, the cart completely closes um, at the end of the week. So we start on July 7th, the cart closes at the end of the week. So I encourage you to get in early so we can start digging in and doing this thing together. Talk to you guys later, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thanks again.